As the hockey world grapples with the Kyle Beach story, calls for accountability are growing louder, and this week could see more action. As a victim of abuse myself, I, I always would go back and say, you know, at that point, the damage to that victim is already done. So we need to focus far more upstream on prevention and making sure that this doesn't happen in the future. Beach will reportedly meet with Chicago team officials on Tuesday to discuss his allegations of sexual assault by former video coach Brad Aldrich during Chicago's 2010 Stanley Cup run. I know how much this has traumatized his life, but on the other hand, I'm glad to see the truth come out. Beach sued the Blackhawks organization earlier this year, but the team is trying to get that suit dismissed in favor of a settlement. While they've admitted that it happened now, they're still trying to deny him his day in court. The NHL Players Association's executive board is scheduled to meet Monday, and all eyes are on executive director Donald Fear. There's much speculation over whether he'll be removed after last week's report revealed he was aware of allegations against Brad Aldrich. This needs to be addressed immediately, and it needs to be addressed decisively. Otherwise, it does not look good, and it could impact the, the league's uh, business prospects uh, in the future. While this is certainly not over for Beach, he is grateful for the growing support, including from former teammate Brent Sopel, who called him a hero. Because not only did he come out for himself, he came out for every victim. What I think we need to be ready for is that athletes like Kyle, truly strong, courageous people, will feel more comfortable now coming forward to report abuse. Contact Beach him. hopes his battle will inspire change that will protect others. Hopefully send a message to, to everybody out there that you're not alone and that you do have power and people will believe you. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.